Hey, this is Jonathan and welcome to Modern Life Dating. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about male loser versus a female loser. What's the difference? Simply put, a male loser is a guy that cannot get women on a consistent basis. He can't pick up girls, he can't date girls, he can't sleep with girls. For women, it's the exact opposite because, you know, there are only two genders and the other gender has the complete opposite problem. A female loser is a female that cannot keep a guy. You see, because in dating, it works like this. Women do the choosing. They allow which men come into their life, but men are the gatekeepers of commitment, all right? They're the ones who decide, hey, you can stay, or they decide, hey, she's gotta go, I'm gonna chase her, no more and I'm gonna replace her okay so you know some of these some of these uh, characteristics overlap like for example with a male loser and a female loser you know if they're both fat it's 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 basically a, a loss for either gender but, but we're just gonna talk a little bit about the differences here so with a male loser this is a guy who does not take care of himself okay he doesn't take care of himself financially doesn't take care of himself physically, doesn't take care of himself uh, career-wise, and doesn't take care of himself mentally. This is the kind of guy, this is your average guy. Your average guy works a dead-end job, comes home, drinks beer, watches Netflix, jerks off to porn, plays some video games, and go to bed. And he's gonna do this over and over and over again. He might casually get some pussy here and there, but it's never on a consistent thing. It's not like a guy like me where I know if I put on my clothes and I go out in the street and I start talking to women, I know it's only a matter of time, one month, worst case scenario, that I'll get myself a new girl, all right? So you wanna have that kind of skill set. And looking at me, I'm not six foot tall, I don't have six pack abs, I'm not super rich, I'm not super handsome, but the great equalizer for men comes in two parts, okay? Now, part number one is your body. Any man can go from a, on a scale of one to 10 of attractiveness, any man can go from a one to at least an eight or a nine by having an immaculate body. That's the one thing men 100% have in control of their dating uh, value on the marketplace, right? The second thing, which I personally think is the most valuable thing, is a man can learn game, okay? Now, when I say game, it's not like walking up to a girl and be like, oh, hey, do you believe in magic? Yeah, none of that PUA garbage, all right? I'm talking like a real man that can walk up to a woman, confidently look her in the eye, say that he's interested, and he knows how to escalate from initial interaction to having sex in the shortest way possible. I'm not talking waiting three months, three weeks, all right? I'm talking in a, a span of two weeks max, two weeks. If it's not happening in two weeks, the girl just doesn't like you enough, okay? It could happen and you could have some girls that are like on the back burner, girls that take longer. But if you have this, this skill it doesn't matter if you're fat, it doesn't matter if you're out of shape, it doesn't matter if you're tall, it doesn't matter if you're rich, none of that, none of those things. 100% you can get girls. Now, you see what hap what I see happening nowadays is a lot of guys are getting girls more based on some kind of physical attribute and not something inside of them. I see like you know tall guys, uh, muscular guys, uh, rich guys and in a combination of all three, uh, politically powerful guys or or corporately powered guys, right? They all get women, but then they end up losing them because they don't know how to keep them. They, they get them, but they can't get them consistently, and the women don't want to stick around, okay? So if you're going to be a male loser, your thing is you, you can't get women consistently, and you're not getting them as frequent as you want on a demand that you know you can go out and you can get a girl no matter what. All right, that's the idea of a male loser. A male loser is a guy who just can't have sex with a lot of girls, can't get a lot of girls. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to have sex with a lot of girls, but he's a guy that 
does not have the ability. He has to use something outward as a crutch, like fame or money or status or a good car. You know, he thinks, oh, now that I have one of these things, now the girl's going to like me. But the thing is, girls eventually, they're going to sniff that out and they're going to see the bitch ass behind it all because that's not a real man, okay? Now, when we go to women, right? Ladies, this is the real deal here. If you can't keep a guy, you're a loser. That's a straight up. That's it. Keeping a man is a skill. Keeping a man is a very, very difficult skill, especially with today's modern woman in America, right? Now, women abroad know this because they nurture more the traditional role. Uh, it seems nowadays everybody wants to like crap on the traditional roles, but they worked for a very long time and a lot of people were happy doing things the traditional way. If you look around now, one thing I noticed when I went back to America, because I live in Tokyo now, is that when I went back to America, all the girls, they just look angry. They just have like this resting bitch face looking around angry. I remember I was at a club in Orlando and a girl misheard me in the club when I was just saying hello. And she immediately snapped at me. I was just saying, hey, what's up? She was like, she, I guess she thought I was insulting her. And she jumped on my throat. And I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And the hilarious part was like, she was trying to act like she was getting physical. I was like, listen, sister, don't get sent to the ER. Well, that's another story. The point I'm trying to make is that traditionally, traditionally those things worked, right? Now, the, the thing about with women is, you know, they, they are shunning the traditional way of doing things. You know, they don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. They don't want to love a man. They don't want to massage him. They don't want to take care of him. You see, a man looks at a woman as an accessory, okay? Because at the end of the day, women need men more than men need women. That's just the bottom line, all right? And, and only girls who will disagree with that are probably like some of the most insufferable women that you don't want to spend time around with anyways. Like girls with the most repulsive personalities will probably disagree with that. Um, but men, you know, they, they see women as an accessory to bringing on into their life. Like if you play an RPG or you play a video game, you know, the main power and everything is with the main character, right? And then the accessories you put on, they make the character better. And that's what a woman should do. She should amplify your life. She should add to your life. You know, like you have a, a great character. Let's say you're playing an RPG and he's a warrior and he has you know, a hundred power and a hundred defense, but the woman is like a helmet that you put on and oh, boom, now you have 200 defense, you know, now you're better because she's there. Could you still be strong and independent without her? Absolutely. Absolutely. But she is not the end all be all of you. And see, women seem to be pushing away that that's their part in society. That's their part in like the relationship hierarchy, okay? Getting mad at that is like getting mad at gravity, right? That's just what men want. They want a woman to complement their lives, okay? And so what I'm seeing happen now is that girls just, they don't know how to keep a man. And what they do is that they just, they just decide, hey, you know what? Fuck it, I'll just give up. I'll just give up. That's why the divorce rate is so high. That's why people are so unhappy. You know, keeping a man is a skill. So remember that because a man loser is a guy that cannot get women. A female loser is a girl that cannot keep a man. So the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid email, phone coaching, or Skype session. You can click one of the links in the description box below or visit me at uh, modernlifedating.com. I'd be providing videos on a weekly basis here, so click subscribe, click like, help me out with the YouTube algorithm, and as always, this is Jonathan with Modern Life Dating. Thanks, and I will see you soon.